straight out to body language expert Patty Wood. Now, your opinion may not uh, be admissible in court under the rules of evidence, but it's admissible here. And I want to hear your opinion as to what you are seeing in court. Well, let's examine the, the distinction between truth and fiction in her testimony today. When she talks about the camera and him saying that he said, uh, he, I, a five-year-old could have taken a better picture. Notice her whole demeanor. She is absolutely devastated by that statement. It's truth, absolute truth. Compare that to when she talks about being body slammed chased and him on top of her lack of affect on her face no emotion in her voice and she speeds through that part of her testimony fact and fiction what do you make of her manner since i noticed she won't look at the jury when she describes certain moments then other times she turns toward them i noticed that when she held her broken finger up in front of the jury she couldn't even look at it she looked away from it yes. later on of course she's gesticulating with it straightened out and we uncovered photos she posted after the alleged uh finger breaking in which it's perfectly normal what does what does her 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 vision the way she's looking and and acting what does it mean well, her body orientation overall is fascinating today because normally you'd be looking at your defense attorney. You'd be comforted by him. You'd be listening. You want to make sure you're accurate in your answers. Instead, she turns her whole body away, all of what I call the body windows, the face, the neck, the heart, the torso, and most importantly, the most honest portion of the body, the feet, away from her defense attorney. That's very unusual. Typically, only when somebody wants to hide everything do they turn their whole body away.